Hi guys, welcome back to another Daily Tarot Card. These are your Daily Tarot Cards for Friday, November the 17th, 2023. Today we're pulling from the Beauty of Horror Tarot Cards. We have the Five of Pentacles here and I feel like, you know, when snow is water. So I feel like emotional draining. I feel like heavy emotions. I feel like you're trying to pull your head above water. So this is like, you know, maybe your medication therapy or you're just like, you know, with this brand new beginning with the sun. They kept bringing in the sun it's like we choose not to fry ourselves out anymore. We choose to be in control of our emotions. So one, th I'm pretty sure it was TikTok that I saw it on. It's like anytime our energy is pulled in a different direction where it's just like, you know, a certain situation that we're kind of obsessing over. But being grounding ourselves, this is a lesson we've learned where it's like this is a temporary situation. So why am I going to sit there and fry myself out? And you'll see why I keep saying fried with the bonus cards, you know. And you know, if you're like myself, that's an overthinker that it, it, it like my shadow side is dark where it can easily consume me. So I always have to sit there and find something else to think about. Uh, you know, Barbara O'Neill even says that sit there and laugh when you start to think bad things or watch a, sh a show that makes you laugh, you know? So I feel like it's like we, you know, winter, winter blues, you know what I mean? This monster, the bottom of snowman, he's, you know, they always demonize like certain things, but we know this could be the shadow side that creeps in the night. You know, like I literally have my Nightmare Before Christmas coffee cup behind um, this card here. And it's just like, you know, it, they do look demonic on there. But like I even said to my son, it's like it's all about perspective. Anyone that's watched the, the Nightmare Before Christmas is not demonic at all. So it's like it looks like that because there's shadow. You know, that's a, the type of cup that it is. But it's like you can get easily overwhelmed. I know that this is like all the things that are going to happen, like one thing after another after another. But it could be in another sense where it's like you, you are, you're thinking too much. You're stretching yourself too thin. Like they keep on saying the risk of burnout, you know. So it's like you have to stop stretching yourself so thin. You got to take control of your life and be like, you know what? Work time is work time. Home time is home time. You know, I get frazzled too because I have a lot going on. But it's like in the most beautiful way because I'm like... I rather have my life full like it is than where I'm in my head too much. You know, I've always said that because I do get in my head. I, you know, I get in my emotions. I'm an emotional creature. We have the six of swords. So it's like we're choosing to move forward. You know, we're setting up boundaries, boundaries with ourselves sometimes. You know, I know I'm a heavy, I'm a very emotional, loyal person. But at the same time, it's like my emotions can get the better of me. And this is where you have to ground yourself. And it's like, you know what? I'm not going to waste my energy anymore on things that I know that are temporary situations. Yahweh and Yeshua, divine creator, Gaia, Mother Earth have already solved the problem. You know, that is exactly what the, the, the person said. But he said God, but, you know, but I know not everybody believes in God. So I try to make it a broad perspective. Whatever you put your faith system in, even if it's yourself, you know, just sit there and say, it's a temporary situation. The problem is already solved. I trust in divine timing. I trust in the universe. I trust in myself, whatever it is, that this is already solved. You know, I know it's a temporary situation. I know it gives me post-traumatic stress disorder. If I actually sit there and look at the situation, it's quite fine. I, I, I know I'll get out of this situation. Like, you know, um, Pastor Mike says, um, you're not broke. You're pretty rich. You know, so it's like changing the way you think of things. Take it, you know, uh, what was it? I, um, I get paid to exist is another great one. It's like great things you could say to yourself, great things that you could put around your area. Like maybe where, if you work from home or so, like, you know, if you have an office, these are simple little things you can look up at when you're getting flustered. It's like, I get paid to exist. You know, I, I'm not broke. I'm pretty rich, you know, because financial situations, especially this time of the year kind of weigh on us, but it's like, it's not the situation though. We're fine. Everything is fine. You're just, you know, don't let your emotions get the better of you. The shadow energy, it, like this new moon, I swear since that eclipse, this sh the shadow energy has been just crazy, you know, but it's grounding yourself. You know, I feel like with retrograde coming up and it's right before Christmas, everyone's like, ooh, doom and gloom. It's like, don't see it that way. You know, it's a time of nostalgia. They're showing the six of cups. We have that card. So it could be a, a reunion with someone. It could be a Gemini because they have the two of cups there. So they could be highlighting a Gemini in your life. I always tell my Gemini in my life how much I appreciate them. That I am so flippin' lucky that the universe, got, in my case, I say Yahweh Yeshua, I've blessed me such a, like, this Gemini in my life. Because it's, like, what a ray of sunshine, you know? Even when I get frustrated, flustered, and I just was like, F it, I'm done, you know? 
he's like the biggest cheerleader. He's just like, no, like, I understand you feel that way, but no, like he, he like cuts right through the bull crap. Like he's straightforward with me. He's just like, no, this is the, like, you know, you may feel that way, but you know what I mean? You can't feel that way, you know? And I love him for that. This is where the King of Cups comes in. And it's like, you got to love yourself. You know, we want love and all this to be in our life. It's like, we have to learn how to love ourselves first. Stop running yourself down. This is what we've been fed all of our life because they want you to be small. They're trying to make you small. So they look big. They tell people lies, you know, to make you look a certain way because they don't want people looking you at a different way, you know, and that's totally fine. Let them say what they're going to say. People are going to believe it. They're fools. Because you know what? The truth always comes out of the situation. And the fool were trusting in the universe. I've never had this. Well, probably, you know, things stood out. But I probably should have paid attention more to them. But universe was spot on. You know, they showed me the picture of someone. And they're like, don't. Big, bold letters. White letters. The, a situation arised on. It started Thursday. And it, it came to, you know, to the forefront on Saturday. And it's like, here's an ultimatum. And they were just like a big old stop sign. Stop. Exclamation mark. You know, like big, bold white letters. And last, when I got this for someone, that person ended up in jail. I was reading for someone. I kept telling them, they keep showing me a stop sign. He was doing something he shouldn't have been doing, you know, and he, he went to jail for it. And I'm just like, mm, you know, so it's just like, I was just like, I wish you well. I wish you all the best. You know, we're not on the same page at all. So we don't want the same things. You know, Asalu, you know, and that's fine for me. I trust the universe. This is trusting our intuition. I feel like this is from the wild unknown card where the Goslin is sitting on a branch. Goslins don't sit on branches and jump off and fly. Their parents teach them how to fly. If you've ever seen them, you see how the parents teach them how to fly. I, we, we, we used to go walking at the track and you would see the hawks teaching or the falcons teaching their babies how to fly. You know what I mean? So it's just like they're not sitting there, you know, pushing them off of branches, you know. But I feel like here it's like I'm courageous enough to stand on this branch, even though I'm afraid of heights. But I know the universe is going to catch me. I know the universe knows I'm ready to fly. I heard another healer say exactly what I was saying, that we are coming out of this chrysalis. So we're making the changes in a positive direction because we're we're freeing ourselves. The universe has freed us. It could be in our thought process. Maybe we were shielding ourselves from the world you know now we're ready for, to be in the world we're ready to be live again you know there's another word that i saw we're ready to live again you've done the healing and now you're ready to live again like before we were participating but now we're ready to be partaking you know and this is where we're letting our wings dry and we're ready to fly you know so it's just like with universe saying this brand new beginning you know yeah it, it can we can get in our feelings but don't get in your feelings it's a waste of energy. I feel like the seven of pentacles, especially the page of cups right beside it, a young one in your family, a little in your family could be making positive progress here. And I feel like this is what you meant manifesting. When I do my salt and cinnamon ceremony, I do it for everybody, not just myself. I do it for everybody. The two eldest in our family out of the kids, um, the, the, look, my mom's grandkids sat there and made decisions on their own, how to make their life go forward. In a very positive direction. As much as they know that their their mother and me love the kids, we would do anything for them, we, you know, everything possible, battle all their battles, whatever. Unfortunately, that's not how life is lived here, you know. Unfortunately, we all have to make those decisions for ourselves. We have to go through those lessons to come around to, like, I wish I was like this when I was 20. I really do, you know. And that's where I teach my kids to have that confidence. Don't let anyone sit there and diminish your light. Don't let anyone sit there. Like I was watching Better Call Saul and he even sat there. For the longest time I sat there and did what everybody wanted from me. For the longest time I made myself small to sit there and I don't even recognize myself anymore. Now I'm doing it on my terms. And it makes so much sense because you thought that there was something wrong with you. Because that's what everybody told us. You cannot do this. You cannot do that. You, you're this. You're that. You're that. And you believe it because you've heard it so many times. It's like, well, I must be the problem then. It's me, you know? And then you look in the mirror and you're like, who the hell is that? Like, I, you know, it's just like, uh-uh. Like, who's that that shell looking back at me? That's not who I am, you know? So you go into yourself. That's who you're supposed to be, you know? That's why, unfortunately, sometimes we go through lessons to waken up to this. You know, Queen of Swords is being truthful with yourself. Truthful about this situation. 
The Six of Cups, nostalgia, so someone you could have a reunion coming back in your life. They do have the home there, so it could be someone related to you. But I also feel like this is where people giving to you. Remember they were talking about, and I always do this, it's like, um, don't be feel weird about accepting gifts. I Someone reached out to me again to offer me another gift. I'm like, you just gave me a gift. I'm like, I love you so much. I'm like, you know, I love and respect you. I love and respect this family. I'm like... You don't have to do that. I'm always here for you. Anytime you need me, I always tell anyone I read for, I'm here as long as you need me. You know, don't abuse it, but I am here as long as you need me. And it, like, I'm not as freely access accessible anymore as I used to be. But he appreciates the fact that I'm always there to listen to him and be there for him. But I told him, I'm like, I know you can't, you know, do this all the time, which is totally understandable, you know. But it's like, I knew that from the beginning, you know, we've been to, you know, this bond for years, you know, and I, but I told him, I'm like, you I, like, thank you so much, but you just blessed me with a, a gift. Thank you very much. I said, if you want to, here it is. You don't have to like, honestly, like I love talking to you. I love laughing because we always kiki and joke and you know what I mean? It's shared energy. So I don't feel like he's someone that uses me. You know what I mean? Because we kiki, we laugh and we talk and you know what I mean? It's just like such a, a great energy to be around great energy you know i wish nothing but the best for him because like honestly he is the things coming from him is just amazing the star card it's like after a rough patch peace and harmony are on their way but i feel like you have to choose this for yourself the way that you take charge bringing that balance so you can see the kraken as this demonic beast trying to pull you into the water this could be shadow energy or you can see it as something consoling you in your journey you know what I mean? I feel like that's why they're showing Gemini. Someone that's a good soul around you. Someone that is like you, that empress energy. A nurturer, a lover, wears their heart on their sleeve, ruled by Venus. But they're saying after a rough patch, things will happen. It's also a manifestation card. That's why I feel like the seven, it, like, look how he's holding his head. Like, oh my gosh. And I feel that way. One thing after another. Like, even Universe just said that to me. It's like, you know, I was talking about my little and how they made a decision. And he, th that's what I love about him. My youngest has been like this since he was three. He he tells me how he needs to uh, be treated as a child, like it, not not treated, but like how um, how he should be raised. And I mean the fact that like he loves independence and freedom. I'm the same way. But it's like even though I get scared because he was so young, and you know it was a butter knife. It wasn't anything dangerous. But he's like. You know, he sat there and he's like three years old in a diaper sitting there telling me, mom, I want to make my own peanut butter jelly sandwich at three years old. And I'm just like, what? And I'm just like, okay. And he goes, please take out the bread for me, the peanut butter and jelly. He's like, J in, you know, the utensils that I need. He goes, you could watch me, but let me do it on my own. And he put the smallest amount of peanut butter. And I said, would you like me to put some more peanut butter on for you? Cause it was very small. And he goes, yeah, okay. So I sat there and I put more on and he could see how much I did. He, he's very observant. So he does the same thing with cooking. He loves cooking. And he has watched me over the years. He's helped me. I've posted when I used to post them on Facebook, him cooking, rolling out ro roti while I'm cooking uh, chick curry chicken or curry beef. And he's sitting there and he's um, helping me make roti or he's stirring, you know, but it's just like he sat there in that moment and he knew what he needed. He saw me doing school with his brother and at three years old he sat there and he said I would like to start school and I said are you sure and he said yes so we started because he's been watching his brother do it for a while and he you know he's you know very intelligent and he just sat there and he's like I would like to do this there was another situation like this Halloween I know they're safe knives to use but I'm just like I'm my attention is on you know doing a, a, a reading I was doing and he's doing the pumpkin and I'm like, I know I can trust him. I know he knows his limits. Sometimes he pushes past them and I'm like, Ugh. like you really got to watch that. I know you were, you're independent and small and strong, but I, it's like, you really need to watch that, you know? So I was just like, um, no, like, you know, like I need you to be in my sight while you do that, you know? So I set up him up and he did it and he wasn't, you know, aggressive. And I, t I told him, I'm like, I know they're safe. But you really need to take it easy. I'm like, because something, how many, I'm sure every emergency room is like, all oh, every freaking Halloween, this happens. Even Thanksgiving, frying the turkey, someone comes in with a, you know, a knife or a frying or something. It's like, you got to know your limits. You got to be safe. You know, don't drink and do things, you know. So 
a lot of them get cropped and then they sit there and fry the oil, the, the turkey in the oil and don't realize when you put a big heavy turkey into the oil, the oil is going to rise. So maybe not put so much oil. My eldest is the same way. He's like, I feel this way. I want to do this. And I said, are you sure? Yep. Okay. And we, and I listen to him. I listen to my kids. They tell me what they need. And I may be reluctant because I'm like, I don't know. And they're like, no, just trust me. And I'm like, okay, I trust my kids. You tell me that's how, what you need. That's what we're going to do. Same thing recently. I want to do this. I said, not a problem. You know, I back and support my kids. And that's the biggest thing. The kids know, like, that's where I get that gosling energy. They know they can climb on that branch. They're brave enough to climb on that branch. And they know not only myself, but, you know, one believes in the universe, one doesn't, which is totally fine. But, you know, they know that I'm there to catch them. You know, Yahweh Yeshua gave me the strength to have strong enough arms to catch my kids. But I don't do, let them do things where it's so like, I'm like, Ugh, like, you know, mommy, mommy intuition is going off here. No, 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 no. You know, but it's just like letting them do the things that, you know, listening to them because that, that's the thing. We got to listen to ourselves too. You know, you listen to the universe because sometimes we think we're, you know, we're doing something positive and they give like, they were like, don't, you know, stop. And it's just like, ah, you know. This is great because now I'm going to avoid a lot of stupid situations. You know, they are showing the three of swords and that's where it's just like, you know, will I ever know how that would have played out? No. Do I want to know? Probably not. You know, maybe the universe will tell me eventually. Maybe somehow it'll play out. I don't know. You know, maybe I'm not supposed to know. But, you know, with the three of swords, it's like, don't take it that way. I would just like, you know, you could feel like, you know, oh, it's another. No, yeah, I feel like it's just. Universe will tell me when they're right. You know what I mean? I feel like this could be like, you know, especially with the two of cups here and uh, someone coming in here as a relationship. You know, it could be someone from your past with the six of cups. It could be a la a past relationship like connection, like in from a previous life. Um, I love the fact that he has uh, his head stapled. It gives me Frankenstein energy. I love Frankenstein. So justice, this is where I'm saying, look at that. He's an electric chair for, and his brain is being fried. Bringing in balance to your mental health. And that's what I was saying. With the five of swords, it's like you're choosing to move forward, you know? And I feel like exactly, like, don't feel ashamed for taking medication. I've always said that. I chose not to take medication while I, like, my, we were all healing, you know, on my journey. Because I'm like, I don't want to be so freaking numbed out that I can't come off of all these things. And then I sit there and, you know, it's like all of it's still there, you know? It was a hard journey, Yahweh and Yeshua carried me. I'm never going to take credit for that journey at all. They were the ones that put me on autopilot and I just, you know, did the very best I could at that time. You know, I don't feel like I was present enough for my kids because I was so, you know, in shock and trying to accept this life and everything. I was very much in denial, you know, but it's just like I needed that to heal. I needed that, you know, and it took that, that Christmas to sit there and look at the, the trees naked right now because I haven't had a chance to decorate it. But it's just like, I couldn't even give, bring myself to decorating the tree. There was a Christmas that was like that. And me and my youngest didn't want to decorate the tree. My eldest is like, where's the bulbs? And I said, right there. He goes, okay, I'm going to decorate the tree. I'm like, really? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, have at it. You want to decorate the tree? There it is. You know, he sat there and he decorated the tree. I didn't want to do it. My youngest didn't want to do it. He sat there and he said, no problem. Unfortunately, we were all happy the tree was decorated and he got into a funk. You know, it's just... That's all about perspective. And that's why I'm saying just, you know, watch that. But it's just like, I love the free giving. This doesn't have to be necessarily a romantic card. It could be, like I said, people present in your life. Gemini already present in your life. You know, they have the lion's face. So it could be a Leo already present in your life, you know. But I feel like it's just like, you know, how lucky are you when you can depend on people around you? That when you're, you know, that's the way it should be. That's what family should be about. Friendships, unions, whatever this is. It's like, you know, when you're down, I pick you up. When I'm down, you pick me up. With temperance, it's balancing this emotion. You know, we're getting a lot of water there, you know, with the uh, star card, you know, where she looks like she's going to be pulled in by the Kraken. But it's all about balancing of the emotions. Our higher perspectives, highlighting the crown chakra, a lot of the cards, you know. And it's just like, you know, sit there and it's like leading to the sun. Look at the amulet on her, on her third eye or their third eye. You know, 
It's just like, you know, sit there and believe in yourself, trust in yourself, follow your emotions, follow your intuition. I'm not saying don't feel your emotions, definitely feel your emotions, but don't sit there and let them consume you to the point that you go in, you feel like you're buried alive, that you're drowning in your emotions. You know, you're be like, you can feel that weight. Anyone that has gone through that kind of emotional journey, you feel it in your shoulders. You feel the weight of those emotions, you know? And it's like, don't let that, don't become a slave is what they're saying to it, where you're so shackled to this. This is all about breaking those toxic chains where it's like, when I was told this before, it's like, oh, well, you know, better do this because it's better than being single. There's nothing wrong with being single. Who knows how life would have unfolded. But the thing is, don't let people make you feel that way. You want to hand me an ultimatum like that, then... You know, and so I was like, we don't want the same things. I'm not going to be rushed into anything. I'm not going to be forced into anything. I don't feel comfortable with it. I'm sorry. Just like how I don't feel sometimes comfortable, but I, you know, that's where spirit reassures me. They've always told you what they needed. They wouldn't ask if they didn't feel like they were comfortable enough, you know? And that's where I was just like, let me be in my sight so I can keep an eye on you while you're doing these things. Because, you know... Yeah, they're pumpkin carving tools, but, you know, we all know some of them, especially the, the newer ones where you can sit there and, and carve, I guess, define things. I guess it's supposed to define things a little bit more. It's just like, you know what can happen. So it's just like being responsible enough that I'm, I'm here if you need me for anything. If you get stuck or anything, I can help you out. But it's just like, you know, not where you're not in my sight where you get maybe take a little bit more liberties, you know. It's like, you got to be safe with that stuff. Doesn't matter how old you are, you know. I know people say, oh, it's a baby knife. Well, you know what? It's better than ending up in the hospital with a dozen stitches or losing a digit. You know what I mean? So it's just like, I just feel like Spirit is saying, like, liberate yourself here. Listen to your intuition here. Love yourself. Maybe, you know what I mean? Depending how the situation, it could be both, you know. But don't allow it to sit there and, and suffocate you. Don't allow it to sit there and get its claws into you and, and, and grip you. That, you know, this is how it, it's supposed to be. Like, you you know what I mean? Don't accept toxic situations or toxic gifts where it's just like it's going to suffocate you. You know what I mean? It's like at least this, you can break that shackle. Emotional situations are temporary. You know? When you sit there, you know what I mean? It's like who knows how that would have kind of turned out, you know? It's just keep moving forward. You know? You are doing this. The universe has your back. That's why it's like... You're, you know, you're coming in, you've got your wings, you've earned your wings, and now you're getting ready to soar. You know, this is why they're like, trust yourself more. Because there's going to be situations where you're going to have to trust even more. Where you're not going to want to do things, where you're afraid. And the universe says, I wouldn't have put this opportunity in your path if it wasn't supposed to be here. You know, it could be a lesson, it could be a blessing. So I hope you guys enjoyed these Daily Tarot cards for Friday, November the 17th, 2023. May the universe bless you good. Have a safe and happy weekend. We'll see you for the next Daily Tarot card. Bye.